New Hampshire war hero presented the Medal of Honor for his actions in Afghanistan. Former Army Staff Sergeant Ryan Pitts was the only survivor in an insurgent attack back in 2008. And News Center 5's Phil Lipoff tells us tonight he's accepting the prestigious medal on behalf of everyone who was with him on that day. Staff Sergeant Ryan Pitts getting our nation's highest military honor. This is what bittersweet looks like. The President of the United States putting the Medal of Honor around his neck six years after what had to be the single worst day of his life. A standing ovation for the 28-year-old national hero. He earned this honor July 13, 2008 in a dark valley in Afghanistan. It was almost 4.30 in the morning when all hell broke loose. Machine gun fire and mortar and rocket propelled grenades poured down from every direction. As the president described the horror of that day, Pitts was poised and stoic. Memories of those who died running through his mind like Israel Garcia here on the right. Garcia's last words that day, tell my wife and family I love them. But there was no time to grieve. The 200 Taliban insurgents continued their assault. The insurgents moved in. Ryan picked up a grenade, pulled the pin, and held that live grenade for a moment, then another, then another, finally hurling it so they couldn't throw it back. Unable to stand, Ryan pulled himself up on his knees and manned a machine gun. Nine dead around him, more than two dozen others injured. Ryan himself took shrapnel wounds to his chest, arms, and leg, yet he fought on. Help eventually arrived. His physical wounds eventually healed, but the loss of his brothers. Standing there, I thought of these incredible men, those present here today, and especially our brothers who fell. Valor was everywhere that day, and the real heroes are the nine men who made the ultimate sacrifice so the rest of us could return home. As humble as he is brave, never once in his brief statement to us did he use the word I. It is their names, not mine, that I want people to know. A remarkable young man who not only received the Medal of Honor today at the White House, but he also celebrated his second wedding anniversary with his wife Amy. At the White House, Phil Lipoff, WCBV News Center 5.